as you probably already know, this is the M50 intake manifold. And it's often used as an upgrade on the M52, M52TU, and the M54. Uh, oftentimes in forced induction applications, for that matter. Now, when using it in forced induction applications, you'll notice that there are only two vacuum sources initially. This fitting right here for your brake booster, and down here, this little nipple. Now, when using this with positive pressure, there's no ridge to secure anything. And there's not really much um, space here to properly secure a line to anyway when taking positive pressure into consideration. So what you want to do is fill this with uh, some sort of epoxy or sealant and completely forget about it. So that only leaves you with this one vacuum source that will go to your brake booster line. So then what you want to do is take a 7 16 drill bit and drill into these recesses here that are normally here and then you take a quarter inch NPT tap and tap some thread in and then I went to Home Depot and I got these you can see them already installed but I got these hose barb adapters so these little ones are the eighth inch, this big one is a uh, quarter inch. So then you've got some vacuum sources to utilize. For example, for your blow off valve, your boost gauge, um, your fuel pressure regulator, stuff like that. You can see I've got for uh, M54 dry by wire throttle body, I've got the Seams Legit Garage throttle body adapter installed. And another thing that's often overlooked, let me flip this thing over. So one thing that's often overlooked is when you use an aftermarket fuel injector, when you install the injector, and if you look inside the runner, the injector can actually go too far into the intake manifold, past this channel, because there is no ridge to stop it. It'll go in and the O-ring will push all the way into the runner. And then if the O-ring swells, the injector is stuck. And for that matter, you have a vacuum leak and boost leak above the injector. And with this style of injector, this plastic O-ring retainer is built in. And if it breaks, there's not really a way to retain the O-ring anymore. So the solution to this problem is this little injector spacer that uh, seems legit garage sells. So you have to pull the O-ring off the injector, and then I'm trying to do this one-handed. You put the little spacer on, and that stops the injector from going in too far. So then what happens is your O-ring will sit where it should inside this recess, instead of pushing in all the way down in there and being in your runner, which is not what you want. So those are some uh, things you don't want to overlook when going with the M50 intake manifold for forced induction. 